How's it going everyone? How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh AKD, the only here man. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to episode 13 of our Mega Ruby, Mega Ruby Grand Rhino Deluxe. This is the officially the fourth week. It's almost been a month of this series already. That is just crazy. That's already just mind blowing. I mean, the fact that we hit. Oh my god. This, yeah, this is. Anyways. <laughs> Before we get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to leave a like. I messed up my intro, whatever. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe on the video. And also check out my Twitter and Instagram. They're both at hermitlowly underscore. Uh, they're the best place to stay updated with the channel. So be sure to drop a follow up while you're there. Also, I do have another series currently going on. It is a Diamond and Pearl 3 Ray versus with always more videos and Jack Nation. So be sure to check that out. Don't fall behind. It's across all three channels. Wednesdays on my channel. Thursdays on always more videos. Friday on Jack Nations. They also do have a cage lock going on. So be sure to go check that out. Jack Nation and always more videos. They do have their personal series together. I, I get left out. But it's whatever. I'm not I'm not heard about it. Uh, <laughs> they have their own series going on. So be sure to go also check out that cage lock. But uh, oh, yeah. Also, thank you for 125 subscribers. Yeah, I think I, I sounds last I checked. We were at 127. Uh, thank you guys so much though for 125 subs. Uh, it's thank you. Thank you. Just, just thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really really appreciate it But let's quickly go over the team I have another fossil encounter and then we're gonna be heading straight back to lava ridge but Let's quickly go over the team. I mean jewels really the only one that is new uh, Jewel the floor just with moon blast pedal dance misty terrain and aromatherapy affects Boris her ability which could come in clutch almost level 27 uh, Toby the pig knight didn't I mean learned smog the big thing. I don't know if you guys have already seen it I found a light ball when I was out searching for items. I found a light ball for Pat uh, Thunder shock spark nasty plot thunder waves have all that good stuff I found a light ball so I need to look it up to see how good a light ball really is if it's worth keeping Pat as a Pikachu I don't really think so. I think eventually I will still evolve it. I don't think I found a, th a thunderstone yet I, I might have I don't know um, but I don't think I found one yet, so can't involve him anyways. But having that light ball is actually huge. That's actually really good. Uh, Toby learned Smog. I did give him the Assault Vest as well. Uh, Biff has Honey that I need to take from her. Uh, I actually did end up getting Night Slash, and Tomato was the only one that can learn it. But I decided against it. Um, I need to take the Honey off of you. Okay, let's do this. Encounters. Now we need to get going. We do. We are taking on Flannery today. We are taking on Flannery. I'm pretty excited. I'm really excited to take this already our fourth gym badge. I'm so excited. Here we go though. What is our fossil encounter? And oh, it's gonna be the exact same, isn't it? Oh, uh, okay. There's no point. <laughs> I need to. I, I, I don't remember which one. Which ones we got? So I know for sure we got in shield on the armor fossil. I don't know the rest. I don't know the other two we got. I'll have to go back and check. But I'll catch up with you guys in Lava Ridge. We'll be right there in just a second. Okay, we are back in Lava Ridge. Uh, who am I gonna lead with for this gym? I'm gonna lead with Pat. We're gonna try and get everyone else up to 26. Uh, I don't know if I have the XP share on or not. If someone hits 28, we'll turn it off. If someone hits 28, if Arthur, Arthur or Toby or anyone else hits 28, we'll turn it off um, because gym's at 28. I didn't. I honestly didn't really even grind anyone else except for Jewel. Jewel's really the only one I grinded. It's just everyone was already kind of where they needed to be. Um, I don't really remember this gym completely. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you need to go. Okay, go to the right. Go, go on the platform. Okay, we're gonna speed up because this stuff's gonna take forever. But question of the day. Um, question of the day. I should always have it pulled up whenever we're in a gym. Um, favorite fire type Pokemon. You know our usual gym question. Eventually, I'm gonna flip it in, in another way. But for now. Oh, it's Landon! Let's go! Shout out Landon! Shout out Infernament! Shout out Infernament! Uh, <laughs> favorite fire type? That's easy for me. It's Infernape. I love Infernape so much. Um, oh wait, Light Ball raises special attack, doesn't it? I should be using Thunder Shock, huh? I think Light Ball raises raises special attack. Um, Infern Infernape uh, is definitely my favorite <clears throat> uh, fire type. My favorite firefighting starter as well because there's you know there's three of them. Um, it's definitely my favorite firefighting starter out of the three. I love, love Infernape. I've always loved Infernape. Uh, it was actually the first starter I picked when I played uh, Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. Actually, Platinum. I played Platinum and then I played Diamond and Pearl, um, which is a big mistake because Diamond and Pearl is not nearly as good as Platinum. But, um, hello, you battle. Um, 
I just totally blinked that for a second. Uh, I, I used Infinity Bone for a second, which is kind of a mistake. Infinity is like one of the, if you want hard mode on those games, Infinity is the one to take. Uh, it's like taking Snivy in black and white. It's It just makes the game way harder for you. And not way harder, but it also the fact that there are very few, I, I'm, if I remember correctly, there are, oh, I didn't buy, oh, I need to buy a, oh, no, no, I bought a bunch of Moo Moo Milks from the lady in the, the Pokemon Center. Um, if I remember correctly, the, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's Sina that has just a severe lack of fire types. And taking Infinite is really the best option if you want a fire type. Uh, there's not a lot of other ones out there, honestly. Not a lot of other fire types in, in Sina. Um, get they have a a fire type elite four member. It's the same in Gen One with Lance. It's like why why is Lance an elite four member when there's just one dragon type in the whole generation? But I don't know. It's Game Freak's decisions, I guess. Um, even when even in Gen Two, I mean, there was like Kingdra and still like I, whatever. Anyway, that's that's the whole different thing. Um, oh my god. Okay, I'll speed it. I'll speed it. Okay. Oh my god. That oh almost lost pad already. <laughs> If you guys have been watching it through, I actually, I think, I don't think I have the XP share on actually. Um, if you guys have been watching it through, I did, I did lose a Pichu before it even became a, uh, a Pikachu, so it's, it's a little scary to think about. But yeah, yeah uh, Infernape is definitely um, one that's difficult, uh, makes the game a little more difficult, but at the same time, because like Empoleon's tail really help you. Sorry if I, you just heard that like bang against the thing, I just moved my mic. Um, I, I generally do love fire types. If it's not psychic types, it's fire types. Like those two types are my absolute favorite. Um, uh, dragon obviously is like really cool. has a lot of cool mods, but, but fire and, and psychic are just so great. Um, they do have some weaker Pokemon, but I feel like they have so many strong Pokemon. Both those types have such strong Pokemon that outweigh the, the bad ones. Um, let me look, let me look there and tell you like which ones I'm going to eventually do a tier list on this. So I'm not going to like fully go in depth in it. Um, on all these types, I will eventually get to it. Um, um, is it dead end? No, okay. Arcanine and Growlithe are definitely number two because there's a good boys. There's a good, the goodest boys. And I love uh, Arcanine and Growlithe. I love them so much. I love them so, so much. Um, who would come after that? I think Slugma and Cargo could use a little bit more love. I feel like people don't always show them what love and they're actually pretty good Pokemon. They're actually pretty good. Uh, Macargo is a nice Pokemon to use. Uh, are they the greatest? No, I will. I won't say they're the greatest, but they're not as bad. I feel like as everyone would think they would be. Um, I do like Blaziken. Uh, Sorkel is probably one of my least favorite fire types. I'm not crazy about it. Uh, I don't hate them, but it's just like, it's just man, dude. I just realized that Crunch did absolutely nothing. Um, obviously, like I said, Infernape. Where Pokemon that don't really get love that probably should get some more love. Um. Chandelure is actually pretty great. I used Chandelure before. I feel like Heatmore gets should get a little more love. Uh, I feel like people don't really talk about Pyroar as much. Oh, we might go back to Dragon. I might take away the 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 plate. I'm gonna take away the plate. I'm taking away the plate because I need him. I honestly almost forgot that that Tomato had a had a plate. I, I genuinely almost forgot that Tomato had a plate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep we'll keep Biffle apart. Wait, is Biffle 26 or 27? If I can get my buttons right. I've been doing like a fire red little Nuzlocke on the side. Um just for fun. And my controls on there are different than on uh Citra. So it gets confusing sometimes when I'm playing. Is this Fonary? Nope, not yet. There's a lot of freaking Um trainers in this gym. Uh I think for starters, I think I like all of them. I don't, I don't, I don't, like a lot of fire type starters are some of my favorites. Uh, I do like all of them. Cinderace, Cinderace is probably the only one I'm not crazy about. Uh, Cinder, I used to like Cinderace, but not really anymore. Like the more I look at its design, the more I, the more I just kind of don't like it. Uh, score bunnies fine, reboots are fine. Cinderace, so sometimes, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. It's just, it's just, I'm at a weird stage in my relationship with Cinderace. <laughs> I'm at a weird stage in that relationship. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not crazy about Cinderace anymore. But yeah, Infinite for sure would be... Oh, I thought I closed out a Citra. Ooh, I got scared. Um, Infinite for sure would be my favorite... Um, my favorite fire type. So let me know your guys down below. Let me know your favorite fire types. But here we are. We made it to Flannery after like 
eight minutes of battling trainers, even though it was on fast forward. Here we go. Look. Oh my god. Welcome! <laughs> no way. I mean, Puny Trainer, you don't want to make it this far. Let's see how my is <laughs> like, No, I, I mean. I feel like she'd be nervous, huh? I don't know. I don't know what voice to see her, so we just won't give her one. Because I just want to battle. <laughs> Alright. Shut up! <laughs> I'm using that. That's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> I hope you guys like the Watson thumbnail. It was literally just his face. <laughs> All right, Wismer. Uh, I think I have Floor just up front, right? Jewel. Jewel's up front. Yeah. I kind of would have liked Biff. Biff third. Wait, no, Biff the second. Biff the second. Um, yeah. I think our team is pretty solid right now. We got nice coverage all around. Uh, uh, pretty solid coverage all around. Um, I don't, I honestly wouldn't make any changes. I think we're good right now. Electric types are sort of a problem, but Arthur's got earth power, so it's not like that big of a problem. Uh, I am a little worried about what her ace is gonna be. Uh, Diamond Storm will be fine, but what Pokemon do I bring in for a Molga to take on for the Diamond Storm? Um, I think we'll bring in Tomato. I know Biff has Diamond Storm, but I feel like, I wonder who has, actually, I wonder who has a higher attack stat. I would assume Dredigan. Dredigan or Loudred? This is her ace, which is perfect. Uh, I think... Yeah, 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 yeah. Tomato has a way higher attack stat, and yeah, Diamond Storm is physical, so... Good, good job, me. Good job, me. I made the right player there, I think. Uh, so we're gonna hit it with a fat Diamond Storm that will raise our defense, if we can hit it. 95 base accuracy Diamond Storm against the double teaming Amolga is gonna be... Ah, oh, it's gonna be so much fun. I hate Amolga. I really do. I know I put it high. It's because usability wise, it is honestly one of the better Pikachu clones. But it is so annoying to go against. It's so annoying to go against. It is just like the most annoying Pikachu clone. Please one shot. I do not want to deal with this thing. Please one shot. Please one shot. Thank you. Oh my god. I did not want to deal with that. Oh, okay. Well, her ace is down. That's cool. Abra. <laughs> Eesh, Flannery, Flannery, you had to bring the heat. You know, you're the original the fire type gym leader. I was expecting you to bring the heat. The last fourth gym leader we faced, like, kicked our butt and almost swept us. But this, this is poor from you, Flannery. This is poor. This is a poor showing from you. Flannery, this is a poor showing from you. I'm going to be honest, I'm really disappointed in you, Flannery. This is a poor showing from you. It's a very poor showing. Like I said, the last fourth gym leader we faced, they almost swept us. Um, but you, you just dropped the ball there. You, you're dis you disappointed me, Flannery. Wow, okay. So that's, okay. Wow, Flannery. Um, wow, you're the easiest gym leader by far. Like, this, so far, you've been the easiest gym leader. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, well, thank you for the four gym match, and thank you for a useless move. I really appreciate it. Uh, you useless gym leader. That's me. Kind of, I mean, she had Wismer, Emoga, and freaking Abra. And use Teleport. I think Abra gets confusion. Oh, we have to get the Glow Goggles. Maybe we'll go to the desert for a bit. And go, maybe go look for the fossils. Oh, let's speed this up. Last time I saw you, blah, 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 Meteorite. Here, go Goggles. Thank you. The next gym's at Petalburg. <laughs> um, what level is Norman? Because that could dictate whether i go back right away or not i think he's like oh and is, is my internet dead is my internet dead why can't i why can't i look up hold on give me one second so norman's pokemon are 28 20 30 but i think honestly what i'm gonna do is go take on the desert first uh get everyone up to like a relative get everyone up to like 28 29 so we could deal with him i know we still have the trainers in the in the thing in the whatchamacallit but I'm gonna keep the XP share off because I feel like if I keep it on, we're just gonna like skyrocket on levels. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to the desert. We do have a desert encounter. Um, I need to release one of the Speepa, by the way, or the most recent Speepa. Uh, we do have an encounter here. This is, is this a new route or is this considered 111? It is considered 111. Never mind, we don't have a new encounter. <laughs> I take it back. We do have some items to get though. Uh, lava cookie, nice. I bought a bunch of those too. Um, oh, I wish I had the mock bike. I know there's stuff up there. I'll have to go get it off off cam. I've just been going around like off cam. All I've really been doing, honestly, you guys, is literally just going back and getting stuff that we missed. I haven't really been 
I think it's a little bit of a problem. Oh wait, Toxic Cork is poison fighting. Arthur could take a hit. Can Arthur take another hit though? That's the question. I think I can one shot it. I think I can one shot it. It's gonna be the death of me, I swear to god. Okay, cool. <laughs> I've been bad. Uh, okay, Toxic Croak. I wouldn't mind catching a Toxic Croak. I've never used. I actually, I have used a Toxic Croak. Not, a, not really in like a full playthrough though. Um, so I would love, I'd love to have a Toxic Croak. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, all I, all I really do off cam is just go back and get stuff we missed. I don't do anything like, I don't go like battle much turns or anything like that. Um, which one did we have? I don't think we had the root fossil. I, I don't. I don't we had I think we had one of these and I, I want to say it was the claw fossil So I'm gonna take the root fossil if we get the same Pokemon So be it. I really don't care. Um, I Was gonna limit our fossil encounters to five, but because they are du they can duplicate um, I'm gonna go ahead and just say like it's as long as it's a new fossil. It's a new encounter like we're good um, Do all these trainers take on what's over here? I mean, I was gonna say how have I not ran into a single Pokemon. Oh Why well, you gotta remind me that I gotta <laughs> I gotta get bite killed in like five minutes. I can't I still can't believe that I got Clara and then five minutes later I, I, She's dead like I literally just let her die. My luck with Garchomp obviously is not great if you guys watch the ending of the last series <laughs> I'm just not smart with with overpowered Pokemon <laughs> Except for Arceus. Arthur's Arthur's the only one I've been I've been good with but everyone else not so much uh, Who do I put in on Stunky? Stunky and Skontank are actually pretty difficult to deal with. Poison Dark is a really interesting type combination that can be a problem. Um, but I think we're fine here. Dragon Call this thing. Actually, I think Diamond Storm is super effective, isn't it? I think Diamond Storm is super effective. We'll make our way. We'll probably. Actually, we'll probably. I'll probably skip again and go back to uh, Restboro and go get our Fossil Encounter again. Um, go do that. And then just end it in Petalburg, and then we'll take on Norman tomorrow. It'll be back to back gyms. Uh, this one's gonna be, I don't know if it's gonna be a little bit shorter. It might be, honestly, because I do have a stream in about 25 minutes, so I need to be <laughs> need to be ready for that. I'll be done at the latest in 15 minutes. I don't know if the episode will run that long, because I did have to take that break to go all the way back to Lava Ridge, and then, like I said, we're gonna go back to Petalburg. So this episode might be a little shorter. It might be on like the 25 minutes, like maybe. Um, I'm not, I can't guarantee whether it is or not, where, where it's going to be or not. Um, it's a possibility though. So if it's shorter then you know why, that's the reason why. Uh, but yeah. Also, uh, I've been in talks with a certain Poketober and you guys may or may not need to be on the lookout for a potential live series. I'm not going to tell you who, I'm not going to tell you who, but I'm not going to tell you what game either. I'm not going to tell you what we're going to do either. Okay. But just be on the lookout. It's probably gonna be when this video is coming out Monday, probably next week, if not the week after, or late next week. Um, the earliest I think would be about where, because they have some stuff they gotta wrap up. Um, screw it. Let me just write back. I really don't care <laughs> while I talk about this. Um, they they have some stuff they gotta finish up. Um, I'm good to go. Uh, my live stream slots are open, so I'm ready whenever they are. I'm waiting on them once they finish what they gotta do then you guys will see our little project that we got going on it's something like insane mind-blowing like new um it's just like an, a fun little li life stream thing that we're gonna do together so a little teaser there a little teaser if you're this far go ahead and comment hashtag teaser or uh sh yeah sure hashtag teaser i guess <laughs> or just just comment teaser just put teaser just put teaser just put teaser teaser in the chat in the comments if you're if you made it this far <laughs> just put it in the comments and i'll know i'll know i'll know i'll know i'll know um but so yeah that's that's big news there uh i probably should have uh, it might have been faster honestly to go to may and then go back but whatever it is what it is i forgot that oh also uh today well not today a couple days ago it's been a couple days now it's thursday for me of last week um it's been a couple days they announced chilling rains the new tcg set that's gonna come out in june uh, I honestly am I'm really excited to see that uh, and get going with that Be mostly because if I can get any of the Galarian birds, dude, I will flip. I love all three of the Galarian um, birds. I love all three of them. They're so great. Uh, also, there's a chance they probably maybe add Reggie Drago and Reggie Lecky, and I like both of them as well. So that'd be really cool if they had them. Um, I need to fly. I need to fly so bad. <laughs> um, so it'd be really cool. It'd be really, really cool. I'm actually really excited for that. Um, I. 
pre-ordered something we'll see if it, it can it'll come through um i'm also gonna wait for retailer retailers uh, i do hopefully have shining fate stuff coming on the way i ordered from best buy um by the time you guys are watching this video i may or may not already have it it's supposed to come saturday um well actually if if i get it i'll have it so that that, that did not make sense at all um <laughs> <laughs> just not making sense right now but i do i do yeah i do have shiny foot shiny shiny foot stuff i have shiny i have shiny foot stuff on the way <laughs> i have shining fates stuff on the way it'll be our first shining fates opening and it probably our only shiny fates opening because i'm kind of done spending for a little bit until chilling rains comes out um and then i'll hop back on it so we'll take a little bit of break from tcg but we do have a fossil encounter here i don't think we've gotten the root fossil yet so let's see need a reno okay all right i'll take that we got both sides oh you can wait you just realized you can't name the fossils you can't until you go rename them okay well we have need a reno that is not bad at all let's go check them out let's see let's see need a reno natural cure not bad not bad at all uh okay level 20 that's a good backup we have need a reno need a reno i'll probably end up taking honestly as much as I love the Tifa and how she's appeared in every single series so far, uh, I'll probably, if, if I do end up needing it, I'll probably take Nidorino because honestly, like I said, we've seen the Tifa for three series straight and I've used her in three series straight. So for sure, I would I, I would take Nidorino just for the sake of diversity. We haven't seen Needle King in the series. So hopefully I don't ever need him. But if I do, uh, I will take Nidorino. But let's head back to Pedalberg. I think maybe what I'll do is oh i need to go check that cave crap should i go do that yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna go check the i don't know the cave that leads to fall arbor <clears throat> the lot i don't forget what it's called the hot cave i don't know what it's called i don't remember um but that cave i'm gonna go i'm gonna go check up with you guys i'll catch up with you guys when we get there um and we'll go we'll go watch the, we'll go see what's in there dude i just cannot talk right now uh, we'll go see what's in there because do i have anything else to talk about to where i don't have to cut what else do i have to talk about oh the new outro may as well just talk about that real quick i hope you guys like the new outro it's nothing crazy i spent a little bit of time i had a little bit of technical difficulties with my with premiere pro for a second there um but i was able to make the outro i think maybe hopefully you guys do enjoy it it's a nice little glitch effect i like the way it looked so i tried it out the different colors and all that i think maybe what i might do is like in the week leading up to a holiday maybe change the colors um because i still have the project saved it's just a matter of going in and changing the colors um let me know what you guys would think about that i think that'd be really cool to like leading up to holiday like, let's say uh saint patrick's day i put like green lime green and like yellow or something like that um or leading up to fourth of july red white and blue for america america uh, <laughs> um or leading up to halloween orange yellow and red orange yellow black gray i don't know um i'm gonna take the mock bike and we're gonna check the desert may as well do that as well uh, since we're on the way there, I'll probably end the episode soon ish because I still need to fix up the thumbnail as well. But yeah, I was thinking about maybe doing that for the outro. Let me know what you guys think about that down below. Uh, changing the different colors of the outro to match like a holiday coming up or something, uh, or maybe to tease stuff. Maybe like, maybe like if, if I had the Diamond and Pro, if I had done the outro when we, we were gonna do the Diamond and Pro 3 versus, I would have done it like pink and blue to like tease certain series, um, or maybe the colors of our channels, you know, the purple, red, and orange um let me know what you guys think what should i use the colors for should it just be holiday should i do like little teasers if i'm gonna do a new series or like towards the tail end of omega ruby we uh start teasing platinum which is the next one i'm gonna do um oh yeah that's something else i can talk about so let me know you guys thoughts on that down below as well as <clears throat> i'm gonna be doing i think i'm only gonna be doing um black two i think i'm only gonna do black two um i feel like as much as I love going from black to, what the? Oh, I had imposter. As much as I like going from black to black too, I would love to go from the original to the sequel. Um, my thing is, I feel like it's kind of, they're not the same, but they're similar. You get me? They're not the same, but they're similar. So it'd be kind of redundant to do it again and again. You know what I mean? Like to go from gen five, to gen five. So I think I'm just going to go with black too. Um, we're going to skip over black um, and just go to black too hopefully you guys are okay with that I, I i think that's what i'm gonna do though it's just a little bit easier on me that way i don't have to spend as much. i do love gen 5 but i don't want to spend a ton of time on just gen 5 alone like i feel like that's kind of special treatment um and i'm not really doing that with any other 
you know but then again no, there's no see other sequels but i'm not doing that with any other game i'm not playing through the same series twice same region rather twice uh we're, we're in, still in the same we're, we would still be in the same region and i'm like eh, i don't know if i want to do that to you guys because the viewers i feel like you'll maybe get tired of uh maybe get tired of it oh where do you enter the desert it's more down here is it i think it is right yeah I think I just think you guys maybe will get a little tired of it. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with I think I'm gonna stick with um, stick with doing just black two. That way we can also just kind of get through these gens relatively quickly. I do want to eventually get to the roms. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do a nuzlocke immediately on them. I think I might just do normal playthroughs on some of them first, and then maybe live series of or maybe a live series of the normal playthrough, and then a randomizer nuzlocke or whatever on the channel as a series. Um, something along those lines i also do want to eventually get to like extreme randomizers of these games of uh, playing different versions and also doing collabs that's also a big thing as well um i should have been training biff the whole time uh, this lady's creepy right here uh, this whole this whole thing this whole exchange right here is just weird and then like isn't it like you go away and you come back and she's gone right isn't it isn't that how this works right i could i swear like if you come back she's gone yeah, that's so creepy. There's also the little ghost girl behind Phoebe in the Elite Four. Oh, that's so creepy. Was there any other trainers you could have taken on here, by the way? I think I missed a couple. I feel like I did. I feel like I missed a couple. Who about you? Yeah, see, I did miss a couple. Um, I'm going to make my way back to Pedalberg in a second. Because um, we do need to wrap up in a bit. Uh, but yeah, I uh, for the sake of... Oh, God okay we're switching um for the sake of kind of getting through the series these these the the gen sweep relatively quickly at a, at a relatively good pace uh yeah we, we're gonna play black too so after this is platinum um this series should be done my guess is mid to late april is about when the series is going to be done and then platinum will be about the same month and a half to two months uh we'll honestly probably be done with the gen sweep by like late summer I think um, early fall, somewhere around that time. Um, I think in the meantime, I might like towards the tail end. I think when we hit like maybe Sun and Moon or X and Y, one of those two, um, I'll do like I'll do the live playthroughs of ROM hacks. So now we, by the time we finish, we can go in and just play, do the Nuzlocke of it. Cause I know there's a ton of Nuzl of the, the ROMs that are just like super hard, right? And I've heard like stories about all the ones that are like extremely hard, uh, that are difficult to play. <clears throat> I need to switch. I almost attack and I just need to switch. <laughs> um, I've heard like stories about all the Nuzlocke's that are like really, really hard. So I definitely need to need to prep and learn the game before I... I don't want to do a blind Nuzlocke because I feel like it'll just be 20 deaths and I die like halfway through. And we lose like halfway through. So I'd rather learn the game at least somewhat, at least get a feel for the game. Um, and then go back and tag. I'm sure you guys would love to see me do a blind Nuzlocke of certain ROMs. That is just extremely difficult, but uh, I think it'd just be kind of pointless to do like half a series and then have to redo and then half a series and then have to redo. Like it's just, it's just a lot for no real reason. Um, I just think it'd be better if I did a playthrough first and then a Nuzlocke later. That's what I'm saying though. Like get the get the playthroughs out of the way while I'm still doing the Gen Sweep just live. Um, and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's a, that's a, that's the working plan for for the pokemon content in the future um also speaking of streaming uh, i don't know if you guys have noticed by now i am doing a i'm doing more random games we're gonna be doing more random games slash just basically not as much shiny hunting i'm kind of gonna start veering away from shiny hunting uh i don't mind it it's honestly just long term uh it's not that entertaining for me honestly uh maybe when we have more of a crowd more of a chat and stuff uh when people you know, people dropping like regular people who drop by and stuff um, we'll go back to it, but I think I'm not gonna completely abandon it. We'll go back every once in a while But I think for now um, For now, we're, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. We're kind of gonna slow it down a lot more from shiny hunting We're gonna slow it down a lot. So Expect more expect more random games in the future expect more random games in the future uh, Or just playthroughs of Pokemon games not really like make me playing Pokemon not shiny hunting, you know, uh, like actual games <laughs> So expect that in the future, but 
I'm gonna end the episode right here since we're back in Pedalburg and I have 12 minutes before I have to start streaming. So we gotta end it here. What was my question today? Um, fire types, that's right. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Don't forget to answer the question of the day. What is your guys' favorite fire type? So let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed the video and if you're under here, be sure to leak the leak a like and subscribe. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, go check out the socials in the description, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm both at Hermit underscore. Please share the socials with your friends, family, everyone you know. Let the people know along here with Twitter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.